What's up guys, we're back with another Tournament Pack opening. This is Tournament Pack 6, so if you didn't see my Tournament Pack 7 video, check that one out. But, before we get started, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you wanna see from Tournament Pack 6, or your favorite pull at the end if you don't know what's in here. So let's go ahead and get started. In the Tournament Pack 7 video, we kinda didn't have that great of luck. We only pulled two foils out of 69 packs. So now we have 40 packs, and hopefully we can pull better. 40 packs should pull us either somewhere in the ratio of 2 to 3 foils, Sousa Soldier, because it's 1 in 18 for a super and 1 in 108 for an ultra. So if we get 1 in 18, we should get two supers, and then maybe we could get the lucky and get the chance to get the third super, or we could get the ultra in there, so technically you could even get four or something crazy happen last turn. There's actually some pretty good commons in this one, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for those. Oh, here we go. We got a rare. That one opened weird. A Spear Dragon rare in the last turn. Then we have the Tune, uh, the Tune Monster and the Tune, what's it called? Tune Table of Contents and the Tune Cannon Soldier. That's right. So we got both of those in this set. Potential to get those. I have pulled a Tune Table of Contents before when we opened this set. This is the one I was talking about in the last video, not the number two. But you can check out the Tournament Pack Six opening before. We did pretty good on that one. So hopefully we can do as well this time. Air Knight is also a good one. That's a $3 rare. Gotta like that. Thunder Nyan Nyan. By the way, make sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the old school content. Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness. All right. We have a Sousa Soldier. Sleeping Lion and Ryu Sinchi. So far, no foils, but we got a long way to go. Come on, let's get a Tune Table of Contents. Let's get a Tune Cannon Soldier. Dark Balter and Ryu Sinchi. All right, guys. Continuing on, no foils so far. But we can still hope for something epic. Here we go, Yamada Dragon. Archfiend, Marmon of Nefariousness, and Fiend Skull. Yeah, all these Fiend Skull and Balter that are terrible and all that stuff, those are all worth a couple of dollars, I guess because of Go format. They're usable. Even as commons, they're pretty nice. So those are good cards to get out of here. Clown Zombie, last turn, and Nekagal. Yeah, for some reason, that might be like a one print card in Nekagal. I'm guessing that's why it's worth a little bit. Sleeping Lion, because usually if the card is not printed more than once, the value goes up. Dark Balls are the terrible. Some cards, even if you reprint them, it doesn't matter. Like Blue Eyes has been reprinted a million times, but the original version is still worth something. But in here, because they're just commons, that's a nice pack with those two. Since they're just commons, uh, if they get reprinted later, it's not really, you know, they don't really hold their value very well here. Another Air Knight. That's a good one. Air Knight Parshath. Fiend Skull. All right. Next pack. Can we get... A tune cannon soldier. Whoops. Clown zombie. I'm glad that wasn't a foil or something. Just rammed it with my finger. Alright, come on, come on, come on. We need some luck here. Whew, here we go, guys. Sleeping lion, huh? Right, Sinji and Thunder Nyan Nyan. Okay, that's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna get hot here. Clown zombie. That's not what we're looking for. Last turn. Yeah, it's always the same configurations. You can tell they kind of have the same order they did stuff. Oh, emergency provisions. Okay, there is a weird ripping one. All right. Emergency provisions, Nikagal, and the last turn. Okay. Come on, guys. Tune cannon soldier, tune table of contents. That's pretty much the big two out of here. Other than that, there's not too much worth too much. Too much, too much. <laughs> too much, too much, too much. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking for here. Oh, there's a uh, Yamada Dragon from Legacy of Darkness. Not really, but it is also from Legacy of Darkness. Oh, we got a rare, I think. Just a rare. A Susa Soldier, Clown Zombie, and last turn. All right, last pack on this side of this, uh, not actual box, but I just threw them onto sides. But last pack, did we get something? We got the last turn on the last pack, which we've gotten in almost every single pack. And this card, too. Apparently, it's worth $3, so that's nice.
Another one? Yeah, these are very small sets. When you get once you get past TP1 and 2, where they have like 30-something cards, I think, or maybe it's only 30. Here they only have like 18 cards or something. So you really get the same cards a lot. Sleeping Lion. Yeah, the pools are sleeping right now, right, Senshi? The pools are really sleeping. We have not pulled a foil. So we only pulled two foils in the TP7 opening. And so far we pulled zero out of here. So it's making me feel a little bit weird about these. But we did get a nice pull out of the TP7, which is nice. We want to get at least one foil out of here. We're going to be really concerned because you should get two probably. Fiend Skull Dragon and a Susa as the rare. But we have a long way to go in terms of packs. Like, I mean, we could get four in a row. Who knows? Probably not, but could. Air Knight Parshath. That's a pretty good pack. With the Fiend Skull as well. Another last turn. Yeah, see, they really they really hammered down the same old cards. Thunder, Nyan, Nyan. Another Fiend Skull. Okay, guys, we're going to need you guys to believe because we're going to need something big here. So far, we have not pulled, like, anything. Yamada Dragon, okay. Literally, we've just pulled rares and commons. So we're looking for a super, an ultra, something. That is neither. That is a common. A burglar. That is the person running away with all the foils. <laughs> okay. Spear Dragon. All right. Bean Skull Dragon. Can we get a foil? Susa. Sleeping Lion and Rice, isn't she? Come on, guys. Let's not go foilless. Susa Soldier. Rice, isn't she? And Clown Zombie. Oh my goodness. This is not good. We do not have we do not have many packs left. We could easily pull two foils here and to make it even, you know, the ratios. But right now, it is not looking promising. We have a last turn. We have a clown zombie and a Ryu Senshi. Oh man. Loose pack problems, you know. Not good. If we don't get any, that's not good. Okay, Spear Dragon. Okay. Nekugo. Again. We have like five more packs. Can we at least get one? Oh, we did get one. Thank goodness. We got a Royal Decree Super Rare. It's not the one we're looking for. I do have this in a PSA 10. I think, I don't remember if I graded the one we pulled either. I pulled this one last time. We did at least get one foil Royal Decree Super Rare. That is a cool one. I'll give it that. That is pretty cool. Royal Decree, it is originally an Ultra Rare in TP4. So there we go. We got a foil towards the end. Can we pull another one get back on ratio? Probably not, but we'll see. We will take that. We will take that. We did get a foil. I was not expecting that, to be honest, after it going so many in a row. All right, we got uh, Thunder Nyan Nyan. Give us that last second ultra rare. Come on. Spear Dragon clowns on me in last turn. Two more packs, guys. Hit the like button for luck. Can we get to the ratio of two? Or will we get under-ratioed again? Hopefully not, but probably. Air Knight, Parshath, Sleeping Lion, and Rice Inchi. Final pack, guys. This one is for all the marbles. Whew, here we go. I'll try not to spoil it again this time, but last time it didn't work. So we go like this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The last second, the last chance. TP6. Here we go. We're not going to do any sort of pack trick. We're just going to flip these cards around. Whew, believe. Actually, let's do it like this. Okay, we got these two. All right. Whew, believe in the card. Will this card be a good card? Whew, come on, guys. I mean, it's a good card, but it's not what we're looking for. So... All right, that's it. We only got one foil. 40 packs. Oh, my goodness. This feels bad. We kind of got killed on these tournament packs, but we at least did get a super rare Royal Decree. We got a bunch of rares, which is good. 
So overall, a little bit of a disappointing opening, just like the TP7, disappointing, but at least we did get foils, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We have some more epic openings coming up, especially this weekend, so make sure you guys subscribe for that and like this video. That's it for today. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! <laughs>